In this video, we'll write the balanced net ionic equation for AgNO3 plus LiCl, silver nitrate plus lithium chloride. So the first thing we need to do with net ionic equations, we need to write a balanced molecular equation. This equation, this molecular equation here, it's already balanced, so that's done. Then we need to write the state for each substance. So if you know your solubility rules, nitrates are very soluble. So AgNO3 is going to be aqueous. It's soluble. It'll split apart into its ions when we put it in water. Chlorides as well, very soluble. Here's another nitrate. When you see silver compounds, you have to be careful. Often they're insoluble. So I'm going to pull this table here. This is actually a chart of solubility. We're going to find silver right here and then the chloride ion right here. We go down and over. You can see most of the chlorides, they're soluble except silver chloride. So for silver chloride, that has an I. It's insoluble. And what that means is that when we put it in water, it won't dissolve. It'll stay a solid. So we're going to put an S for solid. These two react. We end up with these products. This solid will be a precipitate, fall to the bottom of the test tube. Now we can split the strong electrolytes into their ions. And this will be the complete ionic equation. Silver, that is a transition metal, but it's kind of an exception. It always has a one plus charge. The nitrate ion, the whole thing, has a one minus. So we have Ag plus, and I'll write aqueous at the end, let's not do that now, plus the nitrate ion, NO3 minus. Lithium group one has a positive charge, chlorine negative, so we have Li plus, plus the chloride ion, Cl minus. Those are the reactants. In the products, we said lithium is plus the whole nitrate minus. We have lithium ion, the nitrate ion, and then for AgCl, that is a solid. And in net ionic equations, we do not split solids apart. Keep those together. So it's just AgCl. So this is our complete ionic equation. Now we can cross out spectator ions. They're on both sides of the complete ionic equation. So I find nitrate here in the reactants, and I see it again in the products. It hasn't changed, so I'm not interested in that. Cross that out. Lithium, lithium. Cross it out. What's left is the net ionic equation for AgNO3 plus LiCl. I'll clean this up, write the states in, and we'll have our net ionic equation. And this is the balanced net ionic equation for silver nitrate plus lithium chloride. You can see we have the positive and negative charge. They balance out to give us a neutral compound. We have one silver atom here, one here, one chlorine, one chlorine. That's balanced as well. This is Dr. B, and thanks for watching.